There's something special about this place. It's where we learn. Where we grow. Where we play. It's where we explore. Where we do things we can't do anywhere else. Grown-ups say it's been that way for a long time. When the museum opened uh, in 1995, it was a little like a tree that just landed um, in, in the middle of Chattanooga. And since that time, we keep growing deeper and deeper roots and connecting with the community in so many different ways. So I've seen kind of the museum from day one to where it is today. And, you know, I, I was thinking about, it was all about trying to create a space and a place for kids that was really gonna be great for this community and great for our kids. And I know this, I know that the people that contributed to the campaign 25 years ago would look back and say that today the museum has far exceeded their wildest hopes and aspirations. All I know is I like to come here. Because there's so much to do. Whether you're little or not so little. No matter what you like or how you learn, so when children come here and they get to make up what they want to do and they get to go to what interests them at that moment just because it interests them, not because there's an external pressure for an outcome, then they learn that way. Just seeing a kid learn something new and discover something about the world around them that they hadn't before is just something that I can't find anywhere else. As a museum, we don't assume anything about children except that they have potential. And we let them demonstrate that potential by offering them a variety of exhibits and programs and let them choose how they want to respond to that because children will always respond at a higher level than you think if you give them the opportunity. But the best part is, it's a place for everybody. For everybody. Everybody. You and me. And me. And me. I'm talking to everybody. Our audience has become so much more diverse over the years. And one reason it's become more diverse over the years is because the types of programs and exhibits and educational content that we're offering has become so much more diverse. So you get all backgrounds. You know, you'll have your private school kids, but you'll also have your low-income schools. And we treat everybody the exact same. My son is autistic, so he can't fit in every camp. But when he came here, they catered to him. And there were people here to play with him, and they wanted to play with him. So he came home full of stuff, as opposed to waiting for me at the door uh, at some other camps that we had tried. It's all right here in our hometown. Right here, where we live. That's something to be proud of. People come here from Atlanta, Knoxville, Nashville, all these other places, and they tell me how great we are. And I think that means we have something very, very special here. What I love about the Creative Discovery Museum and us being right here on this corner and entrance to downtown, they've kind of set the standard for what kind of community we're gonna be. There were being makers and how to make it space here before we were a maker community. They've set a standard to be culturally inclusive in this town and community. It's just, I feel like because it's children, they're just sowing seeds for what kind of town and what kind of community we want to be. You know, part of the museum is also taking it outside of these walls, taking it to schools, and, and I think the museum's done a great job in that. And I think the more that we create that ownership that it, this is everybody's downtown and this is everybody's museum, it's just, again, about us coming together as a community. I, I love what they do, and I love the fact they celebrate kids and they celebrate differences because quite frankly, we all have a lot more in common than we do the things that separate us. But what if this place could be even better? For more kids. In more places. With even more things to do. And more to learn. That would be pretty cool. The museum to me is a part of, you know, a cause and a resurrection of this city and this community that 
started 25, 30 years ago. There was a generation that made a lot of good decisions, a lot of generous people, and uh, I think it's on us to continue that, continue that momentum, and to make sure for our children it is even better. To use what we know now about how kids access our exhibits and the user interface with those exhibits and just bringing them up to speed. I'm really proud of where we are right now, but it's time to take it to the next level. You know, when we do great things for our kids, we strengthen our community. And so it's an investment in our kids, and I can't think of a better investment than investing in, in the kids of Chattanooga and this area. When I look back at my childhood experiences and how much visiting museums meant to me, and I think about the fact that five million children have come through these doors, we have to make sure that we don't stop at five million. The sparks that are created here are the kind that this generation needs now more than ever. So let's do this. Let's do this. Will you help us please? Please. We can do it together. Let's don't wait. The time is now. 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 The time is now.